How's it going guys? This is Pete from the Freedom in God YouTube channel. So data obtained from the instrument aboard the Cassini space probe have convinced planetary scientists that Saturn's rings can be no more than a few hundred million years old. Notice that's an upper limit, it could be younger. One of these features is the cleanness of Saturn's rings. Secular scientists claim that the solar system is around 4.5 billion years old. So if Saturn's rings were indeed that old, then they should have experienced billions of years worth of bombardment by micrometeorites. This would have blackened the icy ring particles, giving them a dark and sooty appearance. The data obtained from Cassini Cosmic Dust Analyzer, or CDA, allowed planetary scientists to measure the rate of micrometeorite bombardment. Space physicist Sasha Kempf says, our measurement is the most direct way you can measure it. There's not much you can do about it. It has to be young. Notice that the rings could be even younger than 150 million years. Could the rings be as young as 6,000 years, as implied by the Bible's historical data? Of course they could, since the 150 million years estimate is an upper limit on the age of the rings. Since secular scientists have been forced to concede that the rings are young, they must somehow explain how the rings could have been formed in a relatively recent past something which is extremely difficult. As noted by Jeff Cousy, an expert on Saturn's rings, he says, Part of the reluctance for everyone to leap off this bridge into the unknown is we haven't had any kind of feasible explanation for how the rings could form recently. Right now, secular scientists can only offer speculative hand-waving explanations. As a systems administrator and a team leader on the Cassini project, creation scientist David Kopech was able to occasionally interact with planetary scientists at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. He recounts, It was clear to me that nothing would dislodge their belief in billions of years, but there was a subtext that it would be very troubling for them if the rings turned out to be young. They are flummoxed and dumbfounded by the evidence. They have no explanation and they admit it. It should be noted in passing that Kopech was demoted and eventually fired from his position at JPL in an appalling example of viewpoint discrimination. Kopech's crimes were that he privately shared intelligent design materials with his colleagues. Although Kopech was apparently punished for sharing his own personal views, he recounts that his co-workers were allowed to freely express their personal beliefs with impunity. In spite of this blatant double standard, Kopech lost his anti-discrimination lawsuit against JPL. The judge ruled against him without explanation. In spite of this injustice, Kopech played a part in helping make the Cassini project possible, and the results is still more data confirming the youthfulness of our solar system. Thanks for watching guys, and may you all have a blessed day.